Hello, Scorpio viewers. I'm going to look into what your person may be thinking, feeling, wanting, what action they might be taking towards you over the next couple weeks or so. The last reading I did, I was getting that they want to reach out. Someone wants to message you. They they want to explain to you that it, that you were the right person for them, but it was just the wrong timing. And then the reading I got before that is I was picking up that someone had an epiphany months or even years after meeting you that you're actually the right person for them. So this could be someone that you had a, a conversation with a couple times, um, like in a bar or, you know, out in public, or you went on a couple dates, but maybe, you know, one of you was in a relationship at the time or someone was married at the time or someone was planning on moving out of state. And it was just, there's just wrong timing. There was something you had a lot on your plate or they had a lot on their plate or both of you guys had a lot going on but the connection was there but it, it was just it wasn't the right timing and I feel like someone either you or them were focused on other things and down the road it's like the divine stepped in and, and someone had an epiphany and was like wow that like they started like maybe had to dream about you out of nowhere after months or years of not talking or they bumped into you or they, they saw you on social media after a long time of not talking and they're like, oh, wow, this, like, it's coming back to them. They're like, because they're in a different perspective now and they, they don't have as much going on in their life now. So they have more energy to, to devote to this and to think about it and to put two and two together. And they're like, oh, my gosh, like, this person might actually be meant for me. Like, this person, this was right. It, this person was... You know, they, they want to explain that. It, it's like it just, it took them a while to figure it out, but it, it seems like they most of them have figured it out, that you were the right person for them, but the timing was just off. But now they're in a different perspective, so their intuition is finally coming through. I feel like their, their intuition was trying to come through back when, when you guys used to hang out or talk, but they just had, their mind took over because they had so much going on. But their intuition kept trying, and it's like at a certain point when, when their energy cleared up and, and they had, you know, that time and energy to, to devote to love, they, you know, you came to mind. Like that, that um, your memories came up, and now they're able to use their intuition and realize that, you know, there was something real there. There was a spark. Even if you guys didn't really pursue it, there was still something real there that they want to go back and pursue. Some of them don't know how to contact you. Some of them, I was getting that energy too a couple weeks ago that some of them don't have your phone number or your social media like maybe you met somewhere and it was like a love at first sight type of deal but it was the wrong timing but now they're trying to figure out how they can find you but someone's well some of them wants to met someone wants to message you that's what i got last week or two weeks ago so let's see what's going on now what's going on with this connection now Reconciliation. That's a good card. Isolation, loneliness, emptiness. Could be something you prayed for. Publicity, social media. Yeah, someone might have been watching you on social media. Some of them might have found you on social media, but maybe didn't have the guts to add you. Maybe they just found you, like looked you up, but didn't actually say anything. Um, this is a past life connection, it looks like. You guys might have some soul contracts that need to be completed. This is a soulmate for a lot of you. It could be a twin flame, but for a lot of you, it's a soulmate. It's like, I feel like they're feeling isolated and alone and empty. Maybe that's part of what triggered it is like they, they started thinking about you. Like they kind of, their life slowed down finally. Maybe they, they always try to focus on work or try to focus on school or whatever was going on in their lives. And their lives have slowed down and that's kind of made them feel alone. So they might have looked you up on social media and they might just be kind of watching, but they don't really know what to say. The divine is stepping in though and trying to push them towards you. Because there are mutual feelings here. There are mutual feelings. And this person's overthinking it though. The psychic connection is very strong with you and this person. You know, we have the dreams and visions and telepathy here. So you guys are telepathically communicating. You guys are probably already together in the 5D, in the higher realms. It's just... Oops, sorry. It's just a matter of um, 
getting this energy into the physical realm as well. I feel like they're watching. They're, they're thinking about what to say. They want to choose their words wisely. They want to plan their approach because the feelings are here. This is, this is mutual love we have here. The divine is trying to push them to be more confident and brave because some of them just might... Some of them might be kind of sabotaging it. Like they might be thinking about sending you a message, but maybe they just keep sabotaging themselves and they keep thinking like, well, I haven't talked to them in months or years and, you know, I ghosted them or I, I told them that I had too much on my plate and I was too busy and couldn't do a relationship, but now I can do a relationship, but it just seems like, like I don't want them to think that they were like, you know, sloppy seconds, like, or they might've chosen someone else over you. Maybe they had a partner at the time and now they're, wanting to come back around, but they don't want you to feel like they were your second choice. Or they don't want you to feel like uh, you were their second choice, yeah. So some of them are just kind of overthinking it. Like, they're trying to perfect it, and they're almost sabotaging it because they keep thinking, like, well, I need to say this, or I need to say this, or I'm going to send that message Wednesday, but then they just don't, you know? They just they keep overthinking it. And the divine is trying to push them to just be courageous and just say something. But it, it's, it makes it sense. It does make sense that it would be awkward because maybe for some of you, a long time has gone by. Like maybe it's been months or maybe even years since you've talked to this person. So some of them might just feel kind of awkward. Like, why would you want to talk to them after all this time? Like they, they kind of, they're trying to rationalize it. I feel like I'm trying to remember what energy I got with the last reading. It's similar energy though. It's like they're they're thinking about you, but then they try to rationalize it because it's like you're coming through in their dreams. Like they feel this psychic connection with you. And they feel weird though, because it's like, what are they, are they just really gonna they're like they're they're trying to rationalize it. They're like, logically, is that really realistic for me to just message this person after a year of not talking and just be like, hey, how's your day? Like you know what I mean? Like they feel weird. They don't want to be creepy. They don't want to intrude. They don't want to, they don't know where you're at in your life. Like, so they're kind of trying to figure it out on their own, but it's like, they need to talk to you to, to be able to figure it out, you know? And, and they're kind of just going in circles right now is what I feel, but they are wanting to message. Um, I get that that desire is definitely there. What is their, what might they do? What, what's just based off, and again, remember, energy always changes. This is just the current energy. If you really want an in-depth reading, I mean, because this is, this is a channel collective group of Scorpio. So this is your story. You know, if you've been following me for a few months, it's, it's your story. But if you really want details on who this person is, what action they might be taking towards you, what they're thinking, feeling, wanting with you, um, it's best to get a personal reading. That way I can really look more in depth into your situation. You know, I can give you more specific details because this is a general story for this group of Scorpios that I channel. But if you want specifics, I, I recommend a private reading. My email address is in the description box below. Readings are typically done um, either the same day or the next day after receiving payment. Okay, what are they submissive about? Yeah, they think the truth is that they are submissive with you, that you are their happiness, their warmth, their light. Maybe they just, maybe they felt like they had to be logical and hide it from you for some reason. Maybe out of, there could have been a fear of commitment, could have been just like the wrong timing, you know, like they, they felt like maybe they made plans to move and then they met you and they're like, well, they don't want to get stuck. You know, they want to, they want to move. They want to follow through with their plans. Or maybe they were with, with a karmic partner at the time or, they just had to focus on their career and they had a lot going on. So they were trying to be logical and do the right thing or do what they, you know, do what they originally planned on doing and stay on their current path. It's like you, you really threw a wrench into the mix when you guys met because they're like they're wanting to start something with you and it didn't 
line up with the path that they were currently on that they had envisioned for themselves so a lot of them chose the path that they were currently on instead of you know going with the flow and, and letting that path change you know what I mean so now they're realizing you know that they shouldn't have been so logical they should have opened their hearts you know they the, the truth is that that hidden truth is that they are submissive with you that you are their happiness their warmth their light um, some of them might have been afraid of commitment or they might have been afraid of how quickly this happened. This might have been like a love at first sight type of scenario and they might have just been kind of just not prepared for it, you know? It's like that kind of connection just coming in out of nowhere, like they might have been praying for love and then they meet you the next day, you know, that kind of thing where it's like they just weren't ready for it. They didn't know how to, they didn't know how to do it. So let's see. Yeah, they're wanting to send a message. They're wanting to send a message. What are they most likely? Okay, so what are they most likely to do in the next few days or next few weeks, I should say? Yeah, they tried to have the willpower and strength and confidence to focus on their finances and career or moving or their karmic or whatever they had going on in their life. Like they tried that they felt like that was the right thing to do or that was the best thing for them. So they ignored the connection and put it aside. And but now they're wanting to be more honest and send you this message and and um, express themselves. Some of them might have already sent the message or some of them might be planning on sending it soon. Remember, none, none of this is set in stone. This is just the energy. So the energy is saying that they want to send the message. That does not mean for sure that they will send the message. It means that their energy, like their emotions, their intuition, their, their spirit is wanting to send you this message. But they have free will and that does come into play, you know. So sometimes I will get these readings where I'll, I'll be like, wow, I think this person's really going to message you. And then a week or two later, I check in and they're kind of cold and guarded because it's like something came up or they, you know what I mean? It's just, it's the current energy. So I'm telling you what the story is. That does not mean for sure that they're going to message. It just means that I'm feeling, I'm channeling and feeling and going off the cards. I'm picking up that they are wanting to message, that you are on their mind. They are feeling regret. They are, um, some of them are trying to find you. For those of you that maybe have lost your contact info, they're trying to find you. Some of them are, have found you, but they haven't reached out. Some of them are just watching your social media. Like maybe they looked your name up and they're just kind of looking at your pictures and reminiscing and missing you. But they, it's maybe it's been a while or maybe they're the ones that mess things up. Like they told you, hey, sorry, I can't do this. I have too much going on on my, on my plate right now. And so they feel kind of um, guilty and kind of just embarrassed. They don't want to message you after they, they're the ones that hurt you. Like they don't know if you're going to give them another chance, you know. Maybe they want to avoid the embarrassment and the confrontation. But um, what else can we say about this? What's the, the likely energy that they're going to bring towards you in the next uh, couple of weeks or so? Fast moving energy, chaos, sudden turn of events. So the divine is trying to push them. So that actually makes sense that they might just, the divine might just be like, you know what? You need to stop procrastinating. You just need to send that message because they keep overthinking it. They keep thinking like, this person's too logical. I feel like they, they logic almost hurts them. Like they fall back into logic as a, like they use logic as a defense mechanism. And what I mean by that is, is they, when they feel love or they feel emotion, sometimes they try to be logical about it. Like they try to suppress it. They try to, you know, like, oh, it's the wrong timing for that. I have to focus on my career first. I have to be more logical. It's like, it's, it's irritating too, because I feel like this person actually has a really big heart. Like, I feel like this person is a romantic. I feel like this person is very emotional, but they, they fight that part of themselves with logic by, you know, like they, they feel that they felt that energy with you, like wanting to run away with you, wanting to start something new with you, wanting to just say, screw the current path they're on. Like, let's, let's just see where the road takes us. Let's, you know, like, okay, I was planning on moving, but you know what, I'm going to stay or why don't you move with me or, you know, something like, but then they, they rationalized it away it was intuition. It was true love. It was love at first sight. And they, they use their logic and as a defense mechanism to rationalize it away. Like, no, I can't ask them to move with me. It's too soon for that. No, I can't. I can't jump into something so quickly. Like, I don't know if I trust this. Why am I feeling this way about this person so soon? Like, yeah, I had a, I had a dream about them last night, but I bet I'm probably just dreaming about them because I'm lonely. Like they, it's like they have like their intuition is screaming at them. 
you know, like you're coming up in their dreams, but when you come up, like they try to rationalize it, like that's probably just loneliness or that's probably just, just this or just that. But there's this whole other part of them that like knows it's destiny and knows that it's true love. You know what I mean? But it's like their guides are trying to push them past that energy, past the, the defense mechanisms and get them to finally embrace the synchronicity. But it's a process. It's like they're embracing the synchronicity, like they're they're becoming more and more aware that this is a spiritual connection, that this is a, a deep romantic connection, that there is something here worth exploring. They're just, they fight it sometimes, you know? Sometimes they'll have a dream about you and they're like, wow, that's that felt good. Like, I miss this person. I should have I should have done more while I could. And then other times they have a dream about you and they're like, okay, I gotta be logical. I can't, I have to go to work. I can't think about that. I can't try to interpret that dream right now. I have to focus. I, I you know, my, my karmic partner is around. I can't think about that right now. Like, you know, like it's kind of back and forth where it's like they're, they are slowly accepting it more and more, but it's just, it's been a process. But the divine is really trying to push them here to move quickly. And it's going to get more chaotic for them if they fight this. Like the dreams and the synchronicities are going to get stronger if they keep trying to fight this. So this person might try to keep rationalizing it and their guides are going to fight for you. Or your guides, both your guides are going to fight for this connection, you know. This is true love. So their their guides are, the dreams are going to get stronger if they, the more they try to, deny this connection the dreams are just going to get stronger and stronger and I think this is not just about you but this is also about their psychic ability as well some of them are kind of denying that psychic part of themselves and this person is psychic though so their guides really want them to embrace the spiritual world and embrace their gifts and stop um pushing them away yeah because it's keeping them stagnant by doing that could be someone from their past that's been keeping them stagnant and keeping them trapped. Some kind of cord that they need to cut. Hmm. Might be someone watching you too. There could be someone... There could be a karmic that keeps trying to tie them up. This could be a third party situation for some of you. There might be a karmic that's aware of you. Like they're aware if you've sent messages to them or you've called them, the karmic might be aware of those messages. And the karmic might even be trying to not let them have those messages. If, you know, there's like some kind of energy here where it's like, because see what we got there? We got stagnant and then we got the, we got an X. An X is keeping someone stagnant. An X is keeping someone trapped and blocked and tied up. And this cord needs to be cut. And then we have new love here, which I think would be you. But the X is spying. So the X is like aware. They might just be aware energetically. Some of them are aware of your messages. Like some of them have like told them to delete you on social media or they've like looked through your messages or something. Others are just spying like they are watching them because they feel like their energy is with someone else like they feel the karmic feels that this person is like moving towards you and away from them but they don't know who you are. They just know that there must be some other person because it's like why why is my person not in love with me anymore? Why don't they want to have sex anymore? Why don't they want to why are they distant? Why are they secretive all of a sudden you know and it's like cause this person's thinking about you this person might be stuck in a karmic situation because of, you know, children or because of um, familiarity or money or whatever it might be. And they might be like, crap, I'm just, I did the right thing. I did the logical thing. And that wasn't what my heart wanted me to do. I should have gone with my heart, which is, you know, towards you. So some of them are, are in a karmic situation. And the karmic's watching them move away. <sighs> Tell me more about the karmic. You know, it's like some of them made a vow to the karmic to be loyal, but they're regretting that. Like now they're in their head and they're feeling alone and they're not wanting that anymore because they want you, but they're trying to do the right thing. For some of you, that's why they didn't, that's why it didn't work out before is because maybe they had someone else that they were seeing and they, you know, felt like, well, we have kids together or like I made this promise that I wasn't going to hurt them or whatever. But it's like they were falling in love with you. So they and then they, but then they ignored their emotions and they're like, you know what, this is more logical. I've known the karmic for years. I can't just leave the karmic for someone I've known for a couple of weeks. That's not logical of me. Um, so they they fought it, but 
what's the most likely thing? That, what's the most likely uh, moves they're going to make towards you over the next couple weeks? Beauty, mystery, enchantment. And they want to apologize for being distant because they didn't really want to be distant. Maybe some of them were even shy and kind of awkward because they were just so overtaken by your beauty and your just your your mystery, your your enchanting, um, and they're wanting to apologize for being distant and cold because they didn't. Maybe they just felt awkward or they had a lot going on, so they want to apologize and offer give you a love offer. But is the karma going to try to block this for those that have a karma? Yeah. Anger, miscommunication, uncertainty, power struggle. Yeah, there could be some karmic drama. Yeah, it could be a karmic manipulating or deceiving someone. Any final messages? And like I said, if this is your reading um, and you want more details, I just recommend a private reading because that way I can really go into deep detail about, you know, the karmic and your person and whatever you want to know, really. My readings are a 30-minute minimum, but usually my readings last closer to, like, 45 minutes or some of them even go up to an hour. Like, I'll answer all your questions in depth, really go into detail about what's going on with, um, with your situation. Yeah, they're wanting to make a move. I think they just want to take it slow. They might not be... Some of them might not be away from the karmic, and that could be why they're hesitating to message you because they're not actually out of that situation yet. And maybe that's why they left you to begin with. So they don't want to message you and just be like, hey, I miss you. Sorry, I'm still dating the karmic, though, <laughs> you know? But it's like they missed you and they want to talk to you and they don't want you to get away. But maybe some of them don't know how to get away from the karmic or maybe some of them like have kids or they have some obligation to the karmic so they don't know how to get away. But their heart is with you is what I'm getting. Yeah, like they feel vulnerable with you. They feel vulnerable with you for sure. I feel like it's exciting with you and it's like they're sad right now because they're so lonely and bored with their life and they want that excitement and that passion and that the the sexual energy and just all of it that they felt with you like they felt it was like they were just kind of dead inside and like you brought them back to life like I think you both did that for each other and it's just it, you woke them up you know and they're they're wanting that connection again they're wanting to be close to you again um Anyway, like I said, my email address is below. If you would like a private reading, just go ahead and send me an email. I'm available. And any donations are appreciated, even just a dollar. It really adds up quickly. And if this resonates, please subscribe. Thank you for watching.